Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for an album review, and this is for the Cranberries new album, well, final album review of theirs, In the End. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to and let you know my thoughts on what I think of this album. So let's dive into this review. Now, this is their final studio album because their lead singer, Dolores, passed away last January, unfortunately. Uh, but this album's actually good. Um, they did a good job production-wise and how each song is a flow with the album. I actually like the song Wake Me and When It's Over. That's actually my favorite song on this record. Uh, All Over Now was had a lot of dark emotional vibe to it. And it's the first song on the album, but it's really good. The videos like in a cartoon kind of way where she this girl's trying to get back home to in the rain or whatever and she's running into obstacles where she looks like she's gonna fall or something like that I don't know but I have to watch the video again and then maybe judge it or whatever but I'm probably not going to do that uh, music video review for the All Over Now song because the album's technically out or is going to be out in the morning. Uh, but this album's... Yeah, there's a couple songs on here that are not the best. Like, Lost was probably the most... <sighs> least favorite song on here uh sure there are some uh great uh instrumentals in the song lost but it just feels a little disconnected and a little unassured that it's a good song uh I probably don't know what I'm saying right now, and I apologize if I'm stuttering a lot, but this uh, song Lost was just my least favorite. There's not really a lot to discuss about this track. The instrumentals in the track are great, or the instruments in this song are great. Dolores' voice kind of goes all over the place in this song and it kind of makes it feel a little uneasy and a little less likable of a track but it doesn't do bad but I'd give it a 4 out of 5 for the song loss it's got a few problems but the song's decent uh, A Place I Know was like a four almost a four and a half minutes song and the song was not too bad uh, the instrumentals in it are great they how the albums uh, a flow and all that is connected is it's connecting very well with each track but there are some filler tracks on here that just make it seem uneasy to listen through and some skippable tracks I think Lost is probably a skippable track a uh, place I know mm, it's probably not a skippable track it's okay to listen to but there are some hesitating moments in the song that I found and some cringe and some moments in the song that made me cringe but 
it didn't do too bad. Uh, the last two songs, Pressure and In The End, were not bad songs. I gave those two a 4.5 out of 5 because the Pressure song, it's growing on me, but it's just... Dolores' vocal range in the song kind of goes a little off track and feels a little cracked up at times and kind of watered around in the song or whatever. Like her voice sounds a little watery or whatever it is. Uh, whatever the word is for it that I'm trying to describe how her vocals, how her voice sounds while singing. It's not bad, it's just sounds a little messed up. But uh, the other tracks like Catch Me If You Can, Got It, Illusion, Crazy Heart, and Summer Songs were really good songs. Illusion, I almost gave it a 4.5 out of 5 because the melody sounded a little off, but I think it deserves a 5 out of 5 for at least trying to be a good song. And it really made an effort to bring a lot of momentum in this track. Uh, got it, just... <sighs> it's good, I guess. It's actually very good. Um, the chorus breakdown kind of does an alright job. I'd have to hear this album again to determine if it's really good or not. But I'm just throwing out this review. That way you guys have something to watch. And something to enjoy. And mostly to... This is just basically my opinion on what I think of these songs. But most of these songs just are really good. And a few songs are less good. Like, the ones to watch out for are Lost and A Place I Know. But out of 10, I'm going to give this album a 8 out of 10. It did a good job for their final record and it's a shame that it's their final album but I guess they want to throw in the towel and not do any more because they're getting up to that time where they're just like uh, we're gonna make this the final album but I think Dolores would be happy that they uh, went for this album and released it and she'd be very very happy that these Noel Noel and the other guys uh, released this album uh, to their fan to the Cranberry fans and all that but definitely comment below let me know what you guys thought of the new Cranberries album in the end if you've heard it and if you like this review, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I know I mostly hesitated through most of this review and kind of stuttered a little and paused at each point in the review. And I'm sorry about that. I was just trying to make the best review I could. But, uh... I will be returning to you for the Pink album review, New Year's Day's album review, and Rob Thomas's new album review, mostly tomorrow. Maybe I'll do the New Year's Day album review tonight, later tonight, and then I'll do the last two album reviews tomorrow. I don't know, I'll just let you guys know when I throw out those videos for you. So thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video.